Hello, I'm Charlene White. The family of a woman whose shooting sparks the 1985 Brixton riots have had the decision to deny them legal aid for an inquest into her death overturned. Cherry Gross was paralysed below the waist when she was shot by police in a raid on her home as they looked for her son, Michael. She died 26 years later, but the family is convinced her injuries contributed to her death. Our senior correspondent, Ronke Phillips, has the story. Local MP Chaka Umuna with the son, daughters, grandchildren and great-grandchildren of Cherry Gross. They'd taken their fight to Downing Street, but symbolically chose Brixton to celebrate the news that ministers had overturned a decision to deny them legal aid. Relieved and we're, and we're happy that the right decision has been made. And for the people that have got behind us, the support that we've got, this, 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 this victory of us actually getting the legal aid in the end is for all of us. What it means is that the family will get equality of arms in terms of legal representation at the inquest into their mother's death. It was always anathema, the idea, that at that inquest, the three different police agencies involved would be funded at our expense, their legal representation, but the victims in this case wouldn't. That would have been completely and utterly wrong. A mother of six, Cherry Gross was left crippled by a police bullet during a raid on her home in 1985. Officers have been searching for one of her sons on suspicion of armed robbery, a charge he was later acquitted of. I was age 11 at the time, the youngest was age 8 that was in that house at the time and it was a really traumatic experience and it had a huge impact on our lives. The shooting led to riots in Brixton and days later the disturbances spread to Tottenham. Mrs Gross would spend the next quarter of a century in a wheelchair. She died in April 2011. After her death, the police issued an apology, but the family say only an inquest with their interests fully represented will reveal the full details of what happened that day 29 years ago. So for us, really, this is this, it's about getting down to the truth and the facts and, and rewriting history because the story that we know that's in the public domain is not really the true story. The family also say pathology reports show there's a causal link between the shooting of Cherry Gross and her death. The details will be made public at the inquest in June. Ronke Phillips, ITV News. Gatwitz bid to 